okay, I'm getting things moved around. I have this top one is out of there now. That's where the Bricardis were. The Julitochromus Rodonis, I have them out of there. They have all went into this tank. So um, I mean, I haven't done that one yet. I'm going to be taking it down. I'm in the process of catching all of these Julitochromus uh, transcriptus, and I'm moving them into this tank. I moved my Sunshine Peacocks into this tank here, and when I put the one female in, she had a mouthful of babies. So hopefully they make it in there. I did rearrange the rock work and added quite a bit more that should work. So I have some more of a gone ice to put in here. I am slowly taking all of my guppies out. That'll, you know, it's coming along. It takes some time. I think I'm going to take a break and get something to eat. So I'll just keep trying to catch these fish. Everything in this top tank is still, I'm filling everything back up now. My gold severum um, and my red psalms are in there. I have moved all of my, well, not all, I'm quite a few of my Tanganyikan fish in here, but it's for all the guppies into there. Um, the green cobra guppies are in there now, along with everything else, and it gives it a lot more activity. And now this is where my Julitochromus transcriptus are. Okay, my rearranging of my room and changing it out is completely done. I removed 13 aquariums. I had a guppy rack here that had four tens and four fives. I also had a rack right here that had three twenties and then over there I had a 40 breeder and a 37 tall. So I have all of those removed. I have room for the record player here, a uh, place to sit. Everything is cleaned up real well. We have gold severum and red psalms. I have um, some compressiceps, some fissiotis, uh, some placostomus, some ricardis, some regonis, and some calvus in this one down here. Nice looking tank. And this one up here, I have my African Ambunas as well as, if I get this thing to focus in, there we go, as well as my move my sunshine peacocks in there. This is a catch-all tank that just has a little bit of everything in it. Uh, those are both 55s. This one up here, I added all of my green cobra guppies out of my guppy rack into there, and they will produce young in there. They'll have fry. They've been doing it already. Um, I moved my transcriptus and my multi fissiotis into this tank here. They're doing very, very well. This is my biotope with my uh, large angelfish and my bronze cory cat and a couple placostomus in it, doing, doing fine. And then this is my fire mouse cichlid tank. And I moved a lot more plant work into there with a lot of java moss so that the fry can live. This here, 150 tall. I actually um, didn't change a whole lot in this one. I have some Rio Negro Plecos, some Neon Tetras, Pandacories, Silver Tip Tetras, Black Mollies, and Neon Blue Tuxedo Guppies. And that's what I've got in there now. I did clean that up. So it changes the looks of the room. It took me, you know, most of the day to do it. Um, but I do have a chair in here now. I can enjoy my fish room more. And I'll probably be adding more videos regarding the fish room since I did this. So this is Studnik Aquatics, and thanks for watching.